tough one too, man. Yeah, motherfuckers love me, some Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, that's a bad man right there, but yeah, for multiple is. reasons now. <laughs> for, not multiple reasons. Oof. Oh my goodness, I can oh. think of nineteen. I got ice in my veins. Walk like a champion, champion, champion. I'm so cold blooded. I fear nobody. Ain't no letting down. I won't let you down. Cause I got ice in my veins. I talk like a champion, like a champion. I'm so cold blooded. I'm so cold blooded. I fear nobody. I fear nobody. I walk like a champion. What's up, everybody? This is episode 114 of the Saratobi Sports Podcast, bringing you in. As always, the illustrious, the elusive, just in transition, just stuck in traffic, just on his damn phone, and just a friend, JT, coming to you live from Regrown Recordings here in beautiful Long Island, New York. And to my right, a man that needs uh, some introduction, the guy needs God himself, Dijon Mustard, Mansa Mutu. <laughs> Dr. And- <laughs> Mumar. There you go. <laughs> Mansa Mutu is crazy. John Mutu, everybody. George Bush does not care about black people. <laughs> nice. Mm-hmm. And to my far right, a man that needs no introduction, the deacon of demon time himself. He walks with a cane not because he has to, but because he needs to. Mr. Old Wide West. Because everywhere I go, I leave a worldwide mess. How's it going, everybody? Well. <laughs> and to the far right... But not that far right, almost making a semicircle. The Saratobi sound man himself, the Gabagool, Greg Postovich, Matt Barber. How's it going? It's going well. It's going well. You know, I'm looking at your uh, Syracuse. Fantastic. I'm looking at your Syracuse, uh, you know. It's a tough it? pullover. This is, pullover? Vin- this is a thrift shop vintage from Syracuse. There you nice. go. Mitchell Ness type quality. It's, it's the 90s shit because it's still got orange men on the back. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. oh, yeah. That's not a PC thing. <laughs> But uh, no, it, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me so of the. You uh, can say orange, but not red. Like, come on. Basically. It reminds me of the, like a, a San Francisco Giants. That's what I thought it was. Because, like, the Cause orange, at... and I guess I'm not used to seeing, like, the black. I'm used to seeing the Syracuse kind of, yeah. like, blue. Mm-hmm. It is blue. It probably just is blue? black. It is blue. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. That's what, what I thought. Navy. That's well, why I was thought gonna... they were going for full Native American. They were like, the skin's orange, the hair is black. Like, come on. <laughs> I was going to ask Matt. I'm it's like, not racist if it's true. What's going on there? It's not racist if it's true. Oh, man. But next yeah. week, next week I'm gonna come in my uh, my grandpa's Yankee jacket. Oh Remember no! Remember those big, those big ass? Yes. Like, yeah, bro. Ones? Yeah. yeah. They need That's to bring like, those back. Yeah. They make managers wear those now. Come on, man. I'm, I'm done with this this new age. Joe jacket. I'm done yes. with this new age managers wearing <laughs> just, just the hoodies. Yep. Yeah. Now you, you need. Yeah. What is it, Dave? D- uh, what is it, Gabe Kapler for the Giants? Yeah, the manager. He yeah. be wearing the, the the hoodies. Yeah, he do be wearing. Boom and be wearing, Boom, Boom be wearing the hoodies. hoodies. Boom be thinking he Belichick to the shit. He be wearing sleeveless <laughs> fucking hoodies. Yeah. Same, so does so does Kavler. Yeah, Ka- yeah, he be doing Kavler that too. The same shit. So all the women's like Kapler though. Yeah, they do. He's but, a he's, yeah, he's a handsome yeah, yeah. man. I will not. I won't, yeah. I won't lie. But, then, they, then they pack his ass up though. No, no, no. That was that's nah. not. Oh, the Padres manager they packed up. Padres yeah. manager they packed like, up. Yeah, 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 and then the A's and the A's manager just. Well, the A's manager just went to the Padres, right? Mm. Yes. yes. I'm not going to hold you if the before, like, you know how everyone's been pulling out of the Mets race? Mm. If Billy Bean was on the Mets, that would have been tough. Yeah. That would have yeah. been tough. Yeah. yeah. Nah, definitely. It was him and it was... Uh, he pulled out early. He was the first one. It was him. They thought they could maybe get a sniff at Theo to see yeah. if they could pry him from the, the offices, but he's yeah, like, nah. He's like, nah, it's quiet. They probably... Them, 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 the, he probably... It's probably a brand, to be honest. Say, he's already got I the have... greatest legacy of any uh, any ex- executive. Yeah, so he's, <laughs> so, he's good. I don't know. Isn't a uh, homie uh, William Napato? Cool. Calling... Yeah, I mean, no, he's willing to pay, pay but like, n- niggas still got to want to show up. Um, are there two NBA coaches born in New York? Mm. Huh. Mark Jackson's one of them, right? He's no, not, but he's, he's, not, he's, not, he's not an active NBA coach. Oh, I didn't see active, sorry. Yo, the Knicks trivia is always good. I, I, I don't know. It'd be fucking me up. Mm. That's a good one. Yeah, I don't know anybody else's. I have no idea. Any any coaches that are born in New York? Yeah, but um, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, I all right. So I've always been pro of like NBA players just being more casual when they've been on the bench. I don't think they need to wear suits and shit like that. I don't think so either. Yes, but Jamal Murray was dead ass wearing a white V neck and shorts, bro. And I was like, come on, son. This is this is exactly. Why? Why? See, this is why David Stern was like, yo, oh, we're AI. You want to come through with those baggy jeans and a double XL shirt? So sorry, y'all. All niggas gotta wear suits. Now. David jeans said this is, is n- okay because jeans people will be like, I'm trying to be business casual. I'll wear jeans. And I feel obviously like the style back in the okay, day is different. I feel like personally, up, like if you go white t shirt, 
and fucking gym shorts. Hey man, listen, it, this is what happens when the rule. This is what happens when the rule. You know, it is what well, it is. Like, like, like we've been saying. I thought if, he was a fan who just walked into the huddle. Yeah, yeah. yeah no if funny David shit. Stern was the commissioner now, he wasn't even wearing a chain, bro. Everybody be vaccinated. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. <laughs> David Stern. Be, David, everybody David, be David Stern. Oh damn, the Kyrie experience. fold. The Kyrie. Oh no, he's still there. Ah man, oh man, bro. But uh, yeah, it's funny that you bring up being vaccinated, man, because uh, you know, we got a lot of. What is it? We're not even talking about the NBA thing. That was a tough one too, man. Yeah, motherfuckers love me, some Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, that's a bad man right there, but yeah, for multiple is. reasons yeah. now. <laughs> for, not multiple reasons. Oof. Oh my goodness, I can oh, think of nineteen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one more time, that was fantastic. <laughs> Bing bong. Ah <laughs> <laughs> yes. But uh, yes, if you guys haven't found out by, I mean, you you you've already figured it out by now. But Aaron Rodgers, uh. What is it? Wednesday morning, report came out that uh, he had tested positive for uh, COVID-19, which on its surface, when I first saw the news, I'm like, All okay, right, like yeah. he just tested positive. Because to my thinking, and I think like 95% of other people, we thought he was vaccinated. Right. Be <laughs> but then we get video from his interview back before, you know, during training camp and stuff like that, being asked about va his vaccination status. And he was just like, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm immunized, you know, Im immunized. I'm uh, oh I'm struggling with this word right Immuni now. E Immuniza Immunization. Immunizations. <laughs> okay, let's let's just it's stop. Your mama. <laughs> <laughs> but your yeah. Ass. So basically, <laughs> your yeah. Ass. Your ass. And to make it worse, right? So like it's it's kind of on brand for Aaron Rodgers now that we think about it. Oh yeah. Like in hindsight, but yes. like damn, I was really hoping. To make but it worse, we just saw him over really the weekend hoping, at a man. at a Halloween party with other Packers players. Yeah. Right. This is also the week after, basically his entire receiving core. Was Is out due to COVID, COVID health and, and safety protocols, yes. right? Devontae scounding, um, Lazard. Lazard, Lazard, like they had to, I was about to say Lazard, Lazard, yeah. They were bringing guys off, up off the street, brought back Lazards. in Randall Cobb, yes. So, Randall Cobb been there all season, yes. No, nah, I mean, not, not in the rotation though, yeah, yes. Nah, look nah, at his stats. Nah, well, he's literally, he's look, literally the fourth wide receiver. Look at his stats, yeah. look at his targets. That man, he, he's there just there for vibes. <laughs> He there for vibes and not Gatorade. Not other motherfuckers. Not there vibes. For vibes. Uh, not vibes. But yeah, now now the Packers have to go against the Chiefs in prime time <laughs> without <laughs> Aaron Rodgers. But now Aaron Rodgers, you know, the future of the Packers, which yes. is basically Jordan Love. So yes, it's gonna yeah. be interesting. I'm excited to, to to get the first look at Jordan Love, of course. But this whole Packers shit, still it, shaky, it, it, yeah, yeah, definitely is still shaky. We knew that though. But this whole shit got me fucked up because and. I, I, I told you before we started even recording that this story is just it just is crazy to me because if if we really like just basing this off of what actually happened, this nigga Aaron Rodgers dead ass lied about being vaccinated. He did. Nah, he no, did. Technically, he, he didn't. Say he oh, was don't, vaccinated. don't do that. Don't he do that. Lie, he didn't lie. He didn't lie. But he oh, ain't tell the, he ain't tell the truth. He truth because he never he danced said around that, that he thing said, crazy. He said, I'm immunized. That's that's on the reporters for not <laughs> doing follow up said. questions. Nigga, he I'm immunized. Like, he was like, as far as I'm concerned, I'm immunized. I don't know what that means, but I am. <laughs> but it's provocative. <laughs> Pretty Based, much. He like, was like, what? I am. I use an alternative means. Like, Nigga, but like huh? what like what the fuck? You know what you know what niggas are asking when they say, Are you vaccinated? He will look directly in the camera and be like, I didn't say I was vaccinated, now did I? Y'all just assumed. And what happens when you assume? Hey. You, make <laughs> you can't an ass you, you, out of you yeah, and me. Yeah. You get to miss a, a, probably the most important game of your season. But fine, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> Yeah, yeah right now, look, today, at least with yeah. uh, no, man, I beat, no, this is probably day. been the mo more important point last, game. last week when yeah. they had when they missed against when they the missed, Cardinals when they missed when they had Devontae Adams out. You think that's more important than when I think this the is Chiefs? the most important because it's like a change. All right, this is like the new generation versus the old guard. You know what I'm saying? Why like, is no? Why? How is it why not? Is this Aaron Rodgers versus Pat important. Mahomes? Why is this game more important? Because it's the Chiefs. The Chiefs it's, have been asked this year. It's still the, the Chiefs. Chiefs. It's still the Chiefs. It's still Bullshit. the Chiefs. They almost lost to the Giants. They almost lost to they a lot of did, niggas. They almost did, but they didn't. They, did, they didn't. Because, <laughs> you know, the niggas, teams find out a way to win. Because <laughs> niggas what, can't like stay on sides. Three? Uh, three and four and four. Four and four. Four and four. four, and four. four, and four. So they're, four. they're barely 500. Which we're talking means, about this is <laughs> the most important Niggas said they're barely 500. They're 500. But, John, 13 and four. 13 and four is still on the table, John. 13 and four is still on the table. Bro. You think they're going 13 and four? I'm just saying it's possible, bro. The Packers are I'm not an saying actual they will. contender in the NFC. I feel like playing other contenders in the NFC is more important than playing uh, the fucking so Chiefs, just, who don't know who they are right now. 
They'll be all right. But it's still, Chiefs, but, I think the Chiefs will be okay too. But right now, they're not. But it can still be a bounce. Like all right, so it, but it's a saying, big game. I think it's a big game. Well, I think it's that's good. Like I don't nah. That, that's not, no, I'm saying no. I'm saying the uh, and the, they're missing the, some of their best players. Like that's why I don't think this is that they were missing their best players before this week. Who, so I don't who, think who they're the, missing Jair, Zadarius, and Bakiari. Yeah, but yeah, they both. Yeah, but Bakiari has been out. Jair has been out. Are those but, not three of their best players? But they've been out. Like what so you, again? <laughs> so why does playing the Chiefs, who still don't have an identity right now, that important of a game or more important you still than got, playing other like, NFC? I, I get it. Can, I, can, I, can, I, can, I, I, I totally get what John's saying, but at the I, yeah, same time, this, yeah. it's still a team that has been to the Super Bowl the last two seasons. I get that they're kind of mediocre right now, but the threat is still there. Yeah. The threat is still there. It's a big. I think it's a big game just because it's Aaron. It's Aaron Rodgers and. Pat Mahomes. Yes, and I believe that the last time they played, I think Mahomes didn't. Didn't the Chiefs win the last time that they played? I, I thought this was the Chiefs used to beat a lot of teams. Well, I mean, of course, used to, yeah, for sure. But you is know. this? I thought this was their first meeting. I was I don't rem- I don't remember the last time. Who did? It, who was it that they played against last season? Then I don't know. Um, but yeah, back to back if to this. If it was league. an NFC team, I would have been like, all right, cool. All right. We're getting away from the from the topic at hand, which is a lot of what the media After has been a great doing. Halloween costume. Hey, look, look, yeah, I'm just, just saying. You know what I'm it. saying? Just, yes. I'm just so saying. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, John. Yeah, at least Kyrie ain't lied to us. Yeah. We, we just knew that nigga wasn't back. Yeah, he just he just he didn't tell us either. He just he didn't tell us, but at least he ain't lie about it. I mean, <laughs> that same shit. I mean, that nigga sat in the unvaccinated section at a Liberty game, but who cares? It's just like it is what it is. It's the WNBA guys, like you know, it is what it is. Like who even gives a fuck? It is what it is. I'm but, saying, it was so, oh, there's enough God. social distancing in, in yes. those at those games. Too, this, you know? this nigga. Look, I'm not even trying to shade it because I was at, <laughs> bro. I'm not. Oh God! I, I don't want this to come up as like I'm anti women sports and stuff like that. I'm All just right. telling you how it, it is because a, I was at. Yo, WNBA games a, this it season. Was a, it was a sarcastic comment going wrong. Let's, it just, was. Put it, let's just put it like that. <laughs> I, was saying, I was at the I was at Liberty Games. <laughs> <laughs> Women's sports. Who the fuck goes to that? This nigga Kyrie. Look, Kyrie, like, oh, Kyrie, Kyrie like, checked oh, shit, out. Shit, Kyrie's going to the unvaccinated section Let right him now. Go. Oh my Bro. god, that was great. Jesus, this it was great, but it, it's it's podcast. great. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Wow. I'm, a, I'm a big proponent of the WNBA. I'm just sure saying. And everybody that knows me knows this. <laughs> don't. <laughs> don't. <laughs> Yo, don't let this audio get out. <laughs> Bro, they can all cancel TikTok. me. Yeah, this nigga Justin will get canceled fast as shit. Wow, that's So funny. now John is going to make. Wow, now this is going to be a TikTok? This is crazy. <laughs> Listen, this is going to be a TikTok, so then you'll be like, guys, check the Carfax. I have all these other episodes proving. How <laughs> yes. about to say? It's I'm not be here. a TikTok, so if they try and cancel you, they'll have to listen to all the other episodes. Duh. Yeah, I've been so on my soapbox every like five episodes talking about this, but. Amazing. Uh, this is the one. But this yeah, no, it's. Context. But as Miles. But, but the point with Miles is, you know, is going to make is that, like. He lied. He lied. And the media <laughs> doesn't. And they don't care, they, they Mr. Krabs. They don't care. They don't care. <laughs> yeah. Bro, like, this is, and it's not like it's just a, any random football player. It's Aaron Rodgers. Yep. He is one of the faces of the NFL. He's a guaranteed Hall of Famer. He's a Super Bowl winning <laughs> quarterback. Mm-hmm. This is not just some, all right, it's like, it's not like it's Kirk Cousins, who we already know is anti-vax. Mm-hmm. It's not like it's, you know, no distract, but it's not like, you know, but even still, like, it's not, yeah, like Tannehill. It's not like Josh Allen, even though he's a rising star. Mm-hmm. But Aaron, he doesn't have the pedigree that Aaron Rodgers has. I was like, Aaron Rodgers like, I'm not anti-vax. I'm just Bro. pro other stuff. And the fact <laughs> Yo, that this man was actually, out here though, doing the, the was it homeopathic acupuncture and was thinking that was what he what all he needed to mean, boost Kobe up his Ryan. immune levels. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> homeopathic acupuncture. Like those are two long words. There's a lot of dictionary words we're doing right now. It's man, it's absolutely new this, this episode. I'm. <laughs> Wow. Yo, no, I'm just saying, That's like, <laughs> we got we gotta just hold niggas accountable, bro. Like, this shit is just ass to me, cause I I'm seeing the headline. I'm seeing a headline come out, cause obviously, like, you know, re- lost the receivers last week. So fine, next whatever. Time I have sex. I had that homeopathic acupuncture. <laughs> this nigga is crazy. Wait, John- does that insinuate I got pegged? <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. Different strokes for different folks. Yeah, we don't kink shame here. That's the one. That's the one thing that we don't do here. Well, yes. Well, I mean, when when you're showing it, that is that. Well, that that has its own. (laughs) I'm just saying. Look, I'm not. I already. I I already. I would would still hit though. I already forgave her after the the Halloween costume I saw. I'm. I forgave her before that, and I'm gonna hold you. (laughs) It's all right. Listen, sometimes you gotta get canceled in order for shit to get right with you, bro. That's it. I'm saying she really might be one of the top performers of our generation right now. Not even gonna hold you. I like. I like Doja. She out here putting on a show. John loves the show. Um, <laughs> nigga is nuts. 
Yeah, man. This this, this <laughs> just fucking take the shot, bro. It's Never not that Aaron deep. Rogers. Yeah, this nigga is crazy. See, it's like even if you're not gonna take the shot, yo, you was out here. Being reckless, no, maskless no mask. at a Halloween party. At a Halloween party, all through the off season, you just wilding. Like and it, that just oh, leads man. me to believe that he was out doing other shit, probably recording Jeopardy. You know what I'm saying like this nigga was doing whatever the fuck. Uh, I would love. Don't do it if you're about to make a certain correlation. Um, I have no idea what the correlation. That's fine. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know <laughs> what he's doing. But I would love Aaron. I just hosted Jeopardy full time. But anyway, I would have thought that anybody, um, like if anybody, the Jeopardy niggas would be doing a. Uh, you know, having vac stuff because you know they're smart. <laughs> but Bro, you know, I don't know what's going on. All I know is like this man. We, we were on such a Aaron Rodgers high. My son really was like, I've honestly just been growing out my hair for this costume, and I'm like, that's commitment. This man just didn't commit to getting the fucking shot. Yeah, he dressed up as John Wick, worried about the wrong shots. Can I not have a? F- mm-hmm. <laughs> yep, that was a good one. <laughs> Can I not have a quarterback that I like? Can they like to get vaccinated? Like shit. Yeah. It's tough. Oh, there's definitely a quarterback that you can get around. There's one quarterback that you can get around that is, uh, you know, vaccinated, mm-hmm. that you can rally behind. Yeah. And that is a one, Mike White. Is he vaccinated? <laughs> do, is, do we have a confirmation? I don't know. That nigga not. I don't think not we do. He's not not vaccinated. He's not not vaccinated. <laughs> he's not, <laughs> I tell That's you what, he's eligible to play against the Colts. And he was eligible to play against the Bengals, the AFC North leading Bengals, this past Sunday. And I tell you what, boy, I tell you what. Wait, hold on, hold on. I tell you what, <laughs> I take back all the rants I sent last week. You know why? Because Mike White is the future, damn it. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. <laughs> it doesn't matter. The white man marches on. <laughs> For 405 <laughs> yards and three touchdowns oh. and caught the two-point conversion. Philly special. He could be special. I'm not saying Zach Wilson <laughs> ain't it, but I'm not not saying Mike White ain't it either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Pull just saying. Post Robert Sala opens up quarterback debate. Let's <laughs> go. Quarterback like, competition I is just, open. You got to just love the controversy surrounding it because oh, next day in the, media, in, in the media, is there a QB controversy in New York? It's amazing. You love to Bruh. see it. Did you, did you hear the quote that sparks it all? Asking about Mike White, Robert Sala just goes, anything is possible. He's like, yeah, what's, what's his <laughs> future up, with this? Bro. Anything's possible. <laughs> That's Anything a is possible. That's number two draft pick you got sitting yes. there. Hey, man, look. Exactly. Hey, hey, hey. Shit happened. Tim Couch Tim Couch was a high draft pick at one point, too, right? Yes. Yeah, uh, so what are, you, what are you trading Zach Wilson for? What am I trading Zach Wilson yeah, for? Who you want for Zach Wilson? Odell? I mean, I don't have to trade for Odell because Odell yeah. out here get about to get bought out. Yeah, that's, Word to Blake and, Griffin. And honestly, <laughs> I love that for him. But we're going to get there. We're we going to get we, there. We, 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 we got to give Mike White his, his, his spotlight. But as we finish say, up again, with the Jets. Pat, Pat McAfee made a thing. Imagine Odell goes to um the Packers. Yeah. The Packers. The Packers. The Packers. I thought you said the Packers. I thought, I thought you'd Packers. mix up the Badgers and the Packers. Tired. Yeah. <laughs> tired, um, wired, you know. <laughs> yes, I, honestly, I would love love that for Odell. I don't know if it's, if that's really gonna happen, but you know. Easy. Anyways, let, let, can we give Mike White his his yeah. his, his fifteen minutes because Magic Mike he, White Lightning? Yeah, not nah, because he did his thing, bro. Like I like that's and, White Vic right there. Yeah, you know I'm saying, and, <laughs> I, I'm, and, and as somebody that that bet the Bengals uh, minus nine and a half, you know, I, I'm checking the scoreboard as I'm as I'm about to ride Nitro, and I'm like, why is it seventeen to fourteen right now? And I'm like looking at this shit, like what the fuck is going on? And everybody's texting me, Mike White, he's killing he's doing this and he threw two interceptions but the two interceptions that i heard it, it, was, it, wasn't, it, it was tipped one was tipped by at the, at the line and the other bounced off uh the running Yo, back let me see how yes. many people picked up mike white in fantasy yeah oh my god and the most amazing thing about it is once again with football shit is really any given sunday Damn right. any given sunday anybody can beat anybody and this is just an example of that i don't know what what's worse like the fact of the the fact of the matter being that Mike White was out here really hooping and nobody expected him to, or the Bengals just completely shit the bed and they had every opportunity to win this game and lost it. Hey, this was the week of the backups, bro. Yeah. You got Magic Mike White Lightning. Yes. You got fucking homie uh, and um, Cooper Rush. Yeah. Cooper Rush, yeah. Cooper Rush. And then you got homie and um Simeon. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. And uh in New Orleans. Yep. And, but how much uh, did Simeon really Simeon came in, in the third quarter, right? Yeah. I yeah. forgot about Sun. I, I, Either I, way, the from, Bucks are supposed to be really good, right? Yeah. I mean, shit, I picked the Saints to win Not anyway. Not Tom Fraudy. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> Dude, shit crazy. Mike White ain't throw a pick six on Sunday. Shit, I know that's right. <laughs> shit, I know that's right. Look, man, 
It was Any great. given Sunday, you, you love know. to see. You really love to see it, bro. And, and you know what? It's crazy. Like Tired is just giving props to Mike White, but like Wired is, yo. The running back situation for the Jets is so promising with, uh, the, the, with Michael Carter, it's, it's with Michael crazy. Carter and Ty Johnson, because yeah. they're Ty Johnson is is the bruiser, right? He yeah. has speed, oh but he's God. he's gonna actually run between the tackles. The way I got lower his helmet by Bruh. fucking a Jets running back and Michael Pittman. They oh. just decided. Oh yeah, to Michael go Pittman off. went off. Yeah, he did. He had two. He had two. Yeah, if somebody actually early. started Michael Carter, yeah, against you, that's that's he tough. He put up like thirty points. Yeah, yeah that's he tough. Was, no, he was hooping. One hundred and seventy-two yards from scrimmage. Yep. Hey or man, that's how you use your checkdowns. And I think, and I think that is how you oh, use your checkdowns. Damn. Julius. And that's honestly the biggest thing as to why Mike White was successful is because was he wasn't doing. He wasn't doing the, all the, you know, the, he wasn't doing too much, the yeah. plays that, that Zach Wilson has been doing. Like, which is, I, I love the fact that Zach Wilson can extend plays and get out the pocket. And like, we saw it in the Titans game. Like how Patrick well. Holmes. Exactly. And like, putting his left hand next. Like yes. Carson Wentz. But, you know, like sometimes the checkdowns are there. I know it's boring. Like, as I know I ro- rank on, uh, what's his face um, from the Patriots? Uh, Mac Jones. Mac Jones. Mac Jones. But, like, well, that, that's the correct play sometimes. Just check it down to your running back, check it down to your tight end, you know, on a yeah. five yard hitch and then go from there. Yeah, and I and I think more or less because you you go back and you look at the the plays on uh that that he was making, he just made the right throws and that was it. He wasn't trying to do too much. He went came in the game and he did what a backup quarterback should be doing. Um, so I shit he gets he gets all the love for me now. He they play against the Colts on Thursday night. That should be interesting. Yeah, especially because. <laughs> Carson Wentz is out here doing Carson Wentz things. Anyway, speaking of Pittman. Yeah. Bro, the Colts you know I mean? are dead ass a good team with an ass quarterback. I also found out that apparently um Matt Stafford fully well thought he was going to Indianapolis. Really? really? Yeah. Hmm. In the shit they were talking about him and his wife were on Zillow looking at places in Indianapolis before he got traded to the Rams. <laughs> Not Zillow. Zillow. <laughs> it must be nice to be that rich and you're still looking on Zillow. That's that's <laughs> a diff, that's a different type of situation. Um but yeah, like they're dead ass like that team is good. And their quarterback is ass. Yeah, he's not even ass. He's just stupid. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I think you. I think you put it best when you said, um, "What? What was it? What was it that you said that every play that he that he tries to make is going to be the best play in NFL history?" <laughs> that's how but he, it, feel, but, uh, but that's how he plays. Yeah, yeah, that's how he plays. He will never just do the thing you're supposed to. He's like, "Listen, if this works out, they're they're never gonna forget my name." <laughs> this crazy. I'll be etched. They're gonna build a statue of me outside of Lincoln Financial. Facts. <laughs> oh man, I mean, this is good. I got. I might. I might take a prop for fucking Mike White over three hundred yards. That's tough. I'm See, not gonna lie. I, I'm not feeling that confident. And Carson. I don't feel. That, and Carson. I, I don't feel. I mean, yes, you could probably do Carson, I'm but doing both. I don't feel confident in uh, taking a backup two weeks in a row. I mean, as much as I would love nah, to see he's it, riding the high. It's as, only been a couple days. I'm. Te- we've been. He's I'm up. telling you, John. He's I've up. seen this. I've seen this thing before. Yep. As a Jet fan, I've seen it before. Look, I rode the high of the Jets defense uh, after that Titans game. Yep. <laughs> Put to put him up against the uh, Falcons gave me like negative two points. I'm like, yeah, no, yeah, no. You I can don't never. Get all that. The Jets can never have give me two straight weeks of happiness in a row. At least not for like the last it's half technically decade. The same week. Te- technically, it is. I guess in the same. Week. I guess so. He's uh, riding the you high. Right. He's riding if, the high, baby. That's right. it. If uh, they don't got tape on him yet, they don't. <laughs> they don't. If Mike White wins his wins his game on Thursday, which I feel like is highly improbable, but bro, you know, it's New York Sports Radio on Friday is going to be in rare form. Oh, oh bro. my god, it's, it was bad. Oh, what <laughs> Mike White Monday? Oh, I'll never forget. Oh, I'll never forget that. It was down in history books. Yeah, that's like nine that, eleven. Oh my god, what? I'll never forget. <laughs> what the fuck, John? Yikes! Kyrie had enough. <laughs> yo, yo, Kyrie had yo, enough. He's yo, out. We're, we're we're losing niggas one by one. <laughs> we're losing niggas. Odell is next. You know what I'm saying? I was literally about to knock Odell over. So that's hilarious. Oh man, this shit is crazy. Oh my, can't save yes. you now. Yeah, oh, can't. But oh. uh, you know, speaking of one of the uh, Odell Beckham Juniors, you know, say, yo, first and foremost, y'all gotta free my boy, dog. Oh, Debo, y'all gotta. He's about to. Yeah, well, yeah, he about to. And, and the, honestly, watch Odell be angry and come to another AFC North team. Yeah, nah, somebody yeah. that's gonna get you the ball. Everybody trying to play in the cold weather all the time. This thing only plays in cold weather teams. Nah, fuck that. Yeah. Go so out fucking, west or go. Yeah. Listen, Go down either south. Green Bay, either Green Bay or, or um or Baltimore. So did y'all did y'all hear about what actually happened as to why he got dismissed from practice? No. I've heard the theories. So this is so this is actually what happened. So his pops, his pop Odell Beckham Sr., yep. he posted a, a video, and I actually watched the video and it was pretty Oh, incredible. it was his dad who posted it? His yes. dad po- he, 
That, that, that oh, didn't make it. I thought he was. Odell but, 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 posted no, 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 no. Odell didn't post it. It was his pops that posted it. So yeah. it wasn't. It wasn't anything related to Odell because Odell actually didn't do anything really. But his pops. Yeah, he po- really don't be doing shit like that. Honestly. Odell yeah, doesn't do really anything. Doesn't. He gets such a bad rap. Yeah, especially now. I feel like you don't really hear. Do you hear his name in the headlines because he's not getting a rock, and that's yeah. just got to die. And it's not even like he's and he's not. He's not the one that. Uh, what do you call it? He's not uh, complaining about it either to the media. Yeah, he's not. He's just keeping a low profile, which is what you should be doing. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, his pops posted that video. And I don't know if y'all saw that video, but it was kind of, yeah. it was bad. It was bad. Yeah, I saw, I saw pieces of it. It's like, damn, like, you know, when you watch some shit, you're like, damn, points were made. There were a lot of, there was a lot of throws that was missed. You know what I'm saying? But, um, hey, man, yeah. A Cleveland team that was supposed to be tops in the AFC North. Mm-hmm. I'm sitting right there at the bottom. This is what happens when you set expectations sometimes. And it's... I like Baker, but he might Baker not be not the guy, lead, man. I don't think he's going to lead you to the promised land. He might not be the guy. I mean... This is Baker who who led Cleveland to a win in Pittsburgh last year. Mm-hmm. Good. He might not be the guy, bro. I but think, what do you do if you're Cleveland? Well, I mean, more, or less, do do? more or less if you're Cleveland. I think what's going to happen next Trade is that... Trade for Mike White? Mm. You have to at this point. <laughs> That uh, Odell is definitely gonna get released. Like Odell that, that is White. that is that is absolutely happening because he got beef with um, Andrew Andrew Berry and shit. So um, yeah, there that he's gonna get released and he's gonna go to a contender and he's gonna cook. I, I'm I'm fully convinced of that. But what do the Browns do? I mean, Packers you know, do what they do it do it do what the fuck they've been doing, running the fucking football, not making Baker do too much, and yeah, that and hopefully the defense can make enough plays to keep them in games, but. As of recent, it hasn't seemed like they're the same team as last year. So, you know what I I heard uh, when I was in the car. Every time I look up, the Knicks are playing really good basketball, but they're just down. Yeah, <laughs> like every play is like a good play, and I'm yeah. just like, why? Are, why mm-hmm. is it not closer? Because Knicks. But anyway, I was listening in the car to uh, Mike Greenberg, or whatever. And he made a he made a point that I was kind of interesting. Uh, I think it was like back in week two when Baker threw an interception and tried to make a tackle, and that's when you know how he has like the arm situation Shoulder going. Yeah. They say like that's when he first injured it. So all season he's really been playing with like this. Mm-hmm. And he, he was saying like his knee too. Mm-hmm. He has the and it, it's the torn labrum in the left, yep. and then something in his knee. And Greenberg was basically saying he's like, yo, like that's the difference between like a smart quarterback and you know kind of a dumb one. Like I need you to be a quarterback, not a football player. Where it's like a guy like Brady or you know like Peyton or. You know, Rodgers wouldn't go and try and make the tackle. Move they the just kind of they just move out the way because hey, who knows how much this arm injury is really you know affecting him and his accuracy? I mean, last week we saw the most blatant him missing Odell literally wide open on that post. I'm like, oh my gosh, like it's it's bad, man. It's been it's been, it's been gross, and I think the Vikings one was crazy because I was watching the Vikings one, and then he literally threw that at at his back. Now we know Odell can make some fucking catches. Like he's a dude, and this is why I always say, man, shout out Eli. He got that nigga the ball. Open or not, Odell was catching that shit Bro. 90% of the time. But, yeah, it's tough. They got a Fremont boy. Trade deadline was kind of outside of the the one trade that was really made. It mm-hmm. was kind, it was pretty much uneventful after that. I think they didn't adjust trade for somebody. Yeah, we got a doctor. Yeah. Oh, nice. What's up? That's, uh, that's the, cool. uh, the offensive lineman uh, from uh, the Chiefs. Uh, that's right. That's that right. took last year off to go work in the hospitals. Yeah. Oh, really? So, I mean, that's, I think yeah, that's just insurance. Yeah, tight end, right? Yeah, we tried yeah. to tie in, and he wasn't even in the rotation anyway. But I think this is just more to shore up the the O line because mm-hmm. Van Roten is pretty mid, and yeah, we still don't be, have Becton. Uh, yeah, what I saw was he could be like a band aid piece even if you resign him for like a one year after that. Yeah, he's only thirty, mm-hmm. for a lineman isn't bad. Um, that the Pittsburgh trade. Um, oh, Melvin Ingram. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good for the Chiefs. I mean, Melvin Ingram yeah. was, wasn't really being even used in uh, st- in, the, in the Pittsburgh Golf. Like crazy. He was playing well until homie came back from injury and just took the spot. So yeah, that's tough. Just schematic shit, and the Chiefs can use whatever the fuck on defense. So yeah, they just need help. I'd say the um, release of uh, what was it, Jalen Jalen Smith? That was yeah, a while ago. That was the Packers. No, they just that just happened. That just happened oh. like two days two days ago or something mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. Yeah. I, how can he not just find a a home like uh, what is, what's hey, up with some, that hey the Ravens need people who could tackle so if you could tackle we could use some help but like a guy that like like that, that good yeah. Yeah. just been bouncing around the league for the past like year and a yeah, half it's like tough. it's tough I, mean, I don't get that but the biggest news as we know yes the Rams at it again yep <sighs> trading for Von Miller I'm really surprised the Broncos did that um just because the Broncos have a solid team mm. obviously Von Miller wasn't gonna be a future um, because he was the present and the past for them. Yeah. But uh, it's just 
like the I don't build think this has started. Much. Yep. Yeah, really. It, it has, and it's just crazy because like the whole thing is Von Miller talking about how much Teddy means to the team. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? He was like, damn, I haven't felt this kind of leadership since fucking Peyton and shit like yeah. that. Um, motherfuckers knew <laughs> early it was not going to be the case. But Rams got even better. They were my pick for the um, NFC Championship meeting this season. Really like them. And they're showing it. And the big conversation has been the the talk of a doesn't, like, how important it is if you're just trading away all your draft picks. Like, how do you feel about teams that's going all in? And I fuck with it. Mm-hmm. If you're in win now, be in win now. Yeah. Like, sell out. Yeah. Like. Because you, you already know they're, the Rams' window, I mean, they, they did what they had to do by trading for Stafford. And that already put them where they needed to they be. They traded for Stafford. They traded for Ramsey. Yeah, they traded for Ramsey. And then, obviously, of course, then they just traded for uh, Miller, which yep. is like, now that you have, you have playmakers really on, you know, on all three levels of defense. I mean, you know, v- Miller's really edge rush, but you have him. Aaron Donald now, Jalen Ramsey, those are three of arguably the best 15 defensive players. Yeah. Like, just players, not even by position, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Players in the league. And I think that just makes a huge difference on, the, on their defense that was already tough. You know, their offense is scoring a lot of fucking points. It's going to be, they're going to be a tough team to beat when it, come, when it comes down to it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's going to be fucking rough and, playing it. It's already hard to play against with the way the offense has been cooking. Mm-hmm. But now the defense got even better like yeah. Aaron Donald you have to double and it doesn't matter most of the time anyway yep so what are you gonna you're gonna try and double him and Von Miller yeah then whoever else can go they can rush with three and get fucking pressure yeah nah, it's tough. like it's uh, rich got richer um I think more teams should do it honestly like especially if you know like the, the realistically the Rams championship window is until Matt Stafford retires Yes, I agree. Because you have your franchise quarterback. However, though, I don't know if every team should do it. Because that's the thing. Like you have teams like the Seahawks, you know, that traded away a good amount of their draft picks. You got, uh, you got teams like the Colts that traded the wrong position. Yeah, and that's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Like being all in necessarily. Mm, you know, it, it, it's tough because a lot of those times those draft picks are valuable, but you shouldn't hold draft picks hostage just because. Because a lot of times draft picks don't even end up being, you know, what you think. If you if it's a short thing in the NFL, I believe you got to take the short thing, though, you know. Mm-hmm. So, like, you know, a situation like with Stafford, a situation like Ramsey, a situation like Stephon Diggs, you know, uh, DeAndre Hopkins, of course. Like, those are ge- like those are generational talents that, you know, if you, you have the opportunity to get them, you got to get those guys. If you, got a, if you got a good chance to win a ring, especially in the NFL, it's so wide open every year. Fucking take that chance, man. I, like, for real. Take yeah. that chance because that one ring can make all the difference. That yep. changes a lot of careers. Shit. That one ring. Yeah, that's a fact. You know Fuck, and if you're in that window, like, you can usually, after winning one, still be in the conversation um, for the next year or two. Yep. But, like, you got to, if you get that chance, you better take it. It's not one of those situations where, like, if you're a competitive team, like, even if you're on the bubble of, like, really contending and just being a good team, right. I think you should go for it because at that point, are you really still building for the future? Because yeah. the future is not fucking guaranteed. If yeah. you know your ass, rebuild, build for the future, that's fine. Mm-hmm. But if you're, like, a perennial contender or a team that needs to get over the hump or well, shit like course. that, like, yeah. you got to bite the bullet and do it. Like, fuck the draft picks, bro. The NFL draft we've shown. Like, yeah. you'll find diamonds in a rough and you'll get a bunch of fucking busts in the well, er- first round, first well, couple rounds. And, so. and you even you even look at the Patriots, you know, when Brady was there and, like, what they were doing. And they didn't, have, they was not drafting niggas in the first round like that. They was giving those picks up, trying to get talent and putting continuous talent around Brady trying to make sure that they they was set up for success basically and even the even the Bucks now you know what I'm saying it's like we're not really looking for them to draft nobody it's just kind of like you know the talent that they have and the talent that they've acquired and the, the, the talent that they've managed to keep you know what I'm saying so I don't know bottom bottom line is when it come down to this shit um the Rams are about as good as it can get I don't think they weren't get- the favorites before yeah, really might be, man. I think that that um that NFC Championship, I would like to mm-hmm. see either Rams Packers or Rams Cardinals. Mm-hmm. Um, it's that that's just where I want to be, and the Packers need to take a page out of the Rams book. It's never gonna happen because that's just not how they are as a franchise, and right. it's a damn shame. Mm-hmm. But like, when you have, and then Mike Greenberg said this too. It's like when you have, like one of the greatest quarter. You've they're like these. They've literally had two top 30 quarterbacks of all time for the right. past 30 years mm-hmm. and did not build around them. Like, mm-hmm. you got... And if you have a top quarterback, 
You should be in win now all the time. Yeah, now nah, I hear you. You really should. I mean, shit, shout out to the Lions for freeing Stafford. Because that's what real. it is. And we've seen that in the past couple of years of teams who have young quarterbacks and know it early, mm-hmm. and then they try and win before they have to sign the extension. Yep. But, like, bro, like, you, if you have a top quarterback, there's no excuse. And then if you have someone like Aaron Rodgers, like, come on. You're just not doing your due diligence as a franchise. Yeah, man. No, it's, just, it's tough. I mean, shit, I wish my—it I, 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 really must be nice to have a team that's in fucking win-now mode or at least, you know, set up to win. But, you know, this rebuilding process, and this is why it's like having a good general manager and having good a good front office really makes the difference in the rebuilding period because when you have the talent, you know, after that, it's really about just X's and O's and who's putting you in position to win games. But, you know, this front office shit, it's just not easy. The Giants have been rebuilding since the fucking boat picture. So it's, mm-hmm. been, it's, been, it's been something. Oh, you bitch. But, um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. I don't know. I feel like uh, we really got anything else. Like the Rams are really good. I just can't wait to see the Ravens play again. Should be a good game. Yes, I'm excited. I have nothing to say about the Giants except for that all we do is get hurt and catch COVID. So And lie. Well, yes, Joe Judge is well, excuses, nigga. Like, come on, let's let's not do this shit. Like, what? Like, you gonna talk complain of all the things you complain about? You know what I'm saying you complain about deflated balls. You complain about you know niggas banging watching films, cans. banging on trash cans. You gonna blame the headsets, G's? Oh, and week in week eight, you gonna blame the? He- come on, man, and, it's, and the then say bro. it's been a Him problem all year. Uh, they got they got a clean house. Go. I, I think that's what it's. I don't, I don't know is, if they got a clean house, but they got bro, it. All right. Nah, so here's man. the so here's the thing, right? It really might be so time. I I get it, and I feel like in some situations you can just tell the coach is not the coach. Okay, cool. Adam Gase is obviously probably the most recent example of like, all right, like this nigga failed the eye I, test. I knew it from from week one. Yes. <laughs> as soon is, as Manish Mehta agreed that he was the guy, I was like, oh fuck. Yeah, <laughs> we're screwed. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's not that I don't think that Joe Judge. Adam it, Arby's it, wings look so good. Yeah, those, those just look look, look really look good. They got different yeah. types of meat now. Hot, hot honey, oh, yeah. Hot, hot honey sauce. Oh shit. Oh, you guys have Arby's in Long Island? Yeah. yeah. There's one like right around the corner. So we out after the game? I said after the game. <laughs> <There's one around here. laughs> uh, it's like on Sunrise Highway, like down a little bit. It's like Merrick, right? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I said, yeah, I know what you're talking about. It's crazy how, like, when we describe what around the corner really is. <laughs> it's like, it's like, <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I was like, it's around, like the four miles. Miles. Yeah. around the corner is anything under, like, what, 10 minutes? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it's like <laughs> down the block. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> it's just, I blame black people. But, uh. Yeah, Joe Judge. Yeah. So this is the thing: is that I don't not think that he's he's gonna be the coach. I it, it's tough to see with all the fucking injuries this season. It's no, like, fuck that, man. I don't think it's that tough to see. It's like I just don't think nah, he's it. I think the thing he prides himself on is the thing that's tripping you guys up every single game. This whole discipline thing and being yeah. a hard ass and like a real football guy. Well, why is it that? And I think it was arguably the biggest play of the game in the in in, in the last Giants Chiefs game. Uh, I forget what who the running back was, but the one that got the unnes- the was the unnecessary roughness or the taunting oh penalty. Oh my god, Rashad after the, Penny! Yeah, after the big run <sighs> that gave you guys the first down. I mean, it's yeah. like that. That's inexcusable. Yeah, that's Your inexcusable. Are clearly not bought in to whatever it is you're preaching. So yeah, at least not what you're preaching to the media because it's clear on the on on the field and from from what the film says, it's but totally different. It's just like at, at what point? Like I like I'm not saying just stick with a guy just because you stick with a guy, all right? But at the same time, it's like we go, we went from two, from Kevin, what the fuck is his name? No, we went from McAdoo, we go from Shermer, Sheesh. and then now we go from Shermer, who obviously I fucking hated Pat Shermer, to this guy. I don't know what exactly it is with Joe Judge, but it just seems like the team has just done a complete 180 like in terms of being, coaching tree. It's not it. It's not, but we've known yeah. that it's not it. The Reed coaching tree is a lot better. Been well, that, that. I mean, but been this is this this is like don't want to listen. This God is don't miss. this is this, <laughs> this nigga John said. I mean, I don't know. End of the day, ah, it, it's ahead. tough. The team just doesn't look look disciplined, and then this is like you got the false the, the false start, the offsides that ends up turning into what would be a would be Patrick Mahomes interception that I don't think he throws if he doesn't realize that it's offsides. But that's besides the point. But you know, we go from that. To third and fifteen, to next on the very next play to Travis Kelsey, a ghost face mask pe- face mask penalty is it's like a thirty yard swing in in crunch time, and our defense was something that we prided ourselves on from last season. And the one thing I really don't like about Joe Judge is this nigga just doesn't know how to use the timeouts because he used a timeout earlier in the second half that we definitely were gonna use. And, you know, in the last Chiefs drive of the game, Patrick Mahomes smartly stays in bounds, and then they run off like 50 seconds of the clock. 
you know, and it's tougher in offense to do anything when, you know, Kadarius Tony, who the fuck knows? He's he's hurt. You know, Sterling Shepard made of glass out. Saquon out. You know, like who is Dan, like what is Daniel Jones supposed to do in that situation? And I don't even obviously he hasn't been this like. He has been playing terrible this season. He hasn't. He has not. He has no. not been the issue with the Giants. And honestly. if you told me that we'd have the record that we have now and it's not Daniel Jones going into this season, I wouldn't have believed it. Because mm-hmm. if we if we being honest, if I had to keep one between Gettleman, Daniel Jones, and Joe Judge, I would have to I would have to keep Daniel Jones. Absolutely. You know what I'm that's saying? The, that's he's been the best. Like he's been the bright spot, honestly. And yeah, and I'm, I'm like. You know, I'm not saying that you know he's been shining, but you know what? Like he he's been put he's been putting up good numbers. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying C- considering the situations, considering not having Saquon in, in, in his games, best players consistently. Yeah, and having Galladay, who is just looking like it, 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 like he's just hurt all the time. You know what I'm saying not having him, you're supposed to be best receiver. You know, frustrating shit with the Giants. You know, we play the Raiders next week, which I mean, I felt winnable like game. it's winnable game. You know. But um, Saquon is about to be out with COVID, so there's that. Galladay, who, who knows who, who knows if he's playing? Tony, his thumb is fucked up, so it's just you know. His thumb, I thought it, it was his ankle. It's probably both of them. It's the, I think it was Shepard's ankle. I don't know. Shepard, I I I, I don't like Shepard. I feel really. bad for him, man. Made of glass. I like, I like him as a player. Made of glass. He just made of glass. Field. Made of glass. Never met anybody that's more made of glass than Sterling Shepard. False. Rashad I'm listening. Perriman. Rashard Perryman. He was a myth to Ravens fans for the first like three years of his career. I don't know. I don't think Sterling Shepard has ever played more than half of a season, which is like crazy. But I don't know. It's it, it's tough being a Giants fan right now. Um, yeah, maybe Mike White can spread some of the New York back magic. Is looking like the same thing right now. So yeah. Well, it's all good. Um, is it time? Or I think it's time. I think it's time. Is it time, John? Also, wait, really quick. It's time. No, it's, not. it's not time yet. I have one more point. Oh, oh. that's fine. I, I, I that's why. So that's why I had to players ask. Players only meeting. Team had emotional meeting discussing again. Marcus Smart's comments and collapse versus Bulls. Nah, come on, not 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 them doing Tear this again. It down. Not them doing this again because they did the same thing in the bubble. I remember Trade that. Us? Y'all remember that, right? They One had the, the players stars. only meeting in the bubble where people were throwing chairs and shit like that. Talk about frauds. Yep. Bro, I am so oh my gosh, I am so happy that I already know Marcus that, Smart has the feelings that that comments. But is he bro, wrong? Marcus Smart keep it real, but he's yeah. not wrong. But also at the same time, what else is there? I would take one of those three. I will gladly take I would I would give up a lot to get Jalen Brown on, on oh, the net. Like oh, man. You put Jalen Brown on the team, even if you even if Kyrie's not there, if you give me Harden, Katie, and Jalen Brown, yeah, nah. GG. But my point with the Giants would be this. Is it a similar situation? Like, let's say the Giants finish the season with only maybe five wins, right? And Daniel Jones plays the same that he's been playing, I guess, up until this point. Doesn't show improvement, but doesn't re- regress. I think he's Could, been playing better than he has previously. Or you mean no, I'm saying like if, from here? At okay. the, up to this point, if, yeah. this is the, if this is the best he's going to, going to play, and if we just see that. If he play at this level. Yeah. Gotcha. Would, you, would it be a similar situation where it's you gut it completely and you have the GM, if you bring in a new decide GM, on decide on drafting a quarterback or not. Because <sighs> D, cause DG's, uh, DJ's uh, rookie extension is this year, right? Nah, he's coming or in next year. Or next year. one more year. Okay, so, like, so even still, right? So, like, where's the – are you confident that he's going to stick around for the long haul or was with the new GM? Well, Greenberg, Greenberg you know? said this. He was like, Danny Dimes has been playing well. And he was like, literally, if you're the Giants, unless you get Aaron Rodgers, what is the upgrade at quarterback? Yeah, because I, I, I don't think I don't I don't I don't think I don't think that that answer's in the draft. I don't think there's a good it's, enough answer. Yeah. This is the thing. This is why I said as a, for and the no, Giants, for free agent quarterbacks. On no Russell. Well, after this season, Russell Wilson. Mm. That's not this. That's not this off season though. That is. Oh, it is. Yes. Russell. Russell oh, okay. this season. So, yeah. Russell, so, yeah, Russell, so that's Russell, why he was Russell, doing all the whole things in the off season. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So Russell Wilson and Deshaun Watson. If you can make a trade for him, that's it. To me, that's it. And unless you can get one of those two guys going Deshaun into can't play in New York, bro. He cannot play in New York, bro. With this shit, before well, if it was trade for Deshaun, before all this shit came out, we wanted Deshaun in New York on the Jets. Now Deshaun can't play in New York. But wait, why not? We don't have that yeah, that yeah. that good of uh, massage parlors here. He'll stay. He'll, he'll no, stay out of trouble, they, bro. The New York media. Was <laughs> oh no, they would destroy him. Yeah, oh no, it would. It'd be. It'd be. It'd be nuts. I would love, especially I, for I, how I, much they. Liberal of a state. 
especially for how much they've already killed him. Yeah, especially we're, we're too because, liberal. Especially, especially, especially because, because, yeah. Well, my, I guess because of the liberal estate. I'm, I'm thinking more or less because um, Deshaun... Oh, cash. Goddamn. Mainly, mainly because I think this, the Giants fan base is a little bit too uh, right. You know? Mm. So it's... it's, it's a it, lot of fan bases, though. Yeah. It's, it's football, right? I would say Jets fan base is pretty... Like, it's, it's, it, it feels a little progressive, but it's also very, very What feels conservative. progressive about the Jets fan base? Because they're... they're the Jets I, do, I honestly don't know a single fan base that will look at it and go there. No, I'm, I'm, I mean, compared to, you know, I guess the a, Giants? other ones. Yeah, I, I would say compared like the to Jets the Giants. one feels a little bit more progressive than the Giants because I know a lot of Giant fans and who, buddy. Yeah. I know who they voted for a few years ago. <laughs> yep, I, yeah, we know. Go walk across Long Island and see how like, many Jets fans there are. Hey, look, man, well, at least I know. I, I know. This is true. I know of I know more black jet fans. I know that means nothing, but I know more black jet fans than white giant than than black giant fans. I'm trying to think. I don't even know that many black giants fans. Oh, there you go, there you go, Jay Crowder. Need that for my fantasy team. Like I know um, four four black giant uh, fans, but I know a few, quite a few uh, black jet fans. Well, you know, well, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what like, it I know is. Quite a few black jet fans. Me, my mom, my dad, <laughs> me, my, my mom, brother, <laughs> my Keys. cousin, Keith, <laughs> Keith's daughter, <laughs> the, the, group, the Jets group chat I'm in. <laughs> the black Jets fan. Ah. Black Jets. You know, you know, it's funny. All there's, six of us. There's actually a Black Nets uh, group chat, but that's on the hush hush. It's on the hush hush. Nigga, no, nobody, Clearly, it's not. No, you just told us. Yeah, like, nah. nobody, but, no, it, but I know. But you know how you know how the, the athletes are listening. Like we know, you know how we know uh, Odell's listening to the pod. Yeah, Odell's they, they not listening to the pod. Yeah, Odell, yeah they not. <laughs> Odell's listening. They not. Listening. Odell always tuned in. That, that's <laughs> why. Fair. That's why he told his dad to post that. He knew what the fuck was going on. <laughs> He's gonna be on the pod next week. Actually, yeah, that's a fact. Odell's be on the pod next yeah. week. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Also, if, if we're if we're talking about guests, we gotta get we gotta get James on. Actually, can we get James on next week? Next week, yeah, I got it because the Nets play the Warriors next week oh on Tuesday. God. So I need, I need him in. So you want, so you, so you want, so you want, so you want James to come on the podcast, <laughs> to talk t- about his team for twenty minutes, yes. and then be silent the rest of the time. Yes, Great. yes, Great. I need. Great. I just need him. have one of you. Yeah, I just need him to just go off on a, a ten minute oh, rant about playing the Spurs. Huh. I was about to say, yeah, I thought you guys were playing. I would need him to go on a 10-minute rant about why Steph is the greatest player to ever grace the basketball court That's in the history right. of the world. That's right. On that he note, got eight. I'm checking out. <laughs> 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 we got a special edition of Saratopia this week. It's Matt, Justin, and James. <laughs> Miles and John decided to take a week off this week because they couldn't deal with, you know, the bullshit that'd be going on. But, <laughs> you know, we got a great show for you guys. It's going to be our shortest episode. It's only going to be 20 minutes. <laughs> and no ABC this week. Listen, <laughs> we're gonna record until JT walks out. Yes. <laughs> no, we're actually gonna record until Matt's had enough. Is just like I'm turning the mic. He's off. like, do you guys deal with this? These guys for four years since school. <laughs> <laughs> Love it's you, like James. JT's you know enough, but Love JT you. and yes. James. Yeah. James and shout out James because James actually do, do yeah. listen he to does. the podcast. That's he homie. does. That's so, that's James, James, James does listen to the podcast. As we much love as James. we make fun of him, that's, <laughs> yes. that's the homie. Yes. He's gonna come on. He's gonna call you both bots. I'm just letting you know that <laughs> bots. Is I don't even know what where bots. the term came from, but yes. <laughs> and also, you better pray. Yes. <laughs> 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 that was quite a moment. Yes, I love to see. It was funny. I was um, I was actually shooting around the other day, and I was like looking at. Like people, people was running like a, a game, mm-hmm. and I was like, "Damn, we would dead ass cook these motherfuckers in our prime." Does that, does that mean we're getting in our old? prime, <laughs> in I'm our prime, here getting nostalgic. <laughs> Niggas yeah. is twenty six, twenty five, talking facts. about their prime. Yeah, I know because <laughs> that's three years ago. Yeah, literally, <laughs> right? Shit, good times, bro. Oh, all right, but yes, now it is time. It it's is time. time. It's time. It's time. All right, good cool. time. Welcome back, everybody, to the Week 9 edition of our Primetime Picks, hosted by yours truly, World Wide West, because I'm leaving these worldwide messes everywhere. So... Yo, Mike White, over 300 yards, plus 138. Plus 138? Might be worth it. Carson Wentz, plus over 300 yards, 227? Interesting. Um, But yeah, shout out Mike White. Damn, we should have had the Jets game on here last week, because we all would have got an L. But speaking of Ls, Justin... Um, our leading loser right now, uh, twelve and twenty, one and three last week. Um, but yeah, everybody else was two and two last week. After you know, we picked some upsets, picked some favorites. It is what it is. So um, what's it call it? So, uh, well, I'm sixteen and sixteen. You're fifteen and seventeen. Matt is fourteen and eighteen. All right, all right, all right. Sixteen, fifteen, fourteen. You know, just minus one, minus one, minus one. Come on. And then uh, Justin is twelve and twenty. So uh, you know, he got some ground to make up. But um, so you're 16 and 16? 16 and 16, yes. 
Uh, Four games back. Oh boy, it's all good. There's plenty. There's plenty of time. We're only we got eight more weeks after this, you know. But um, we're gonna start the week off on a good note, and uh, we're gonna do some AFC North. We got the Browns at the Bengals, and you know what? I'm gonna take the Browns on the road. Yeah, give me a bounce back week for uh, Joe Burrow and them boys. I like that. Also, of note, freaking uh, Jamar Chase held to under 40 yards. Yeah. That's right. Still got La- a touchdown. Guantanamo. Still though. got a touchdown. Guantanamo. Still got a touchdown. Guantanamo. He put. Pu- he pushed off. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, don't know. I do like the Browns, but I think my favorite Bengals as well. Nice. They're in Cincinnati, right? Yes, they're okay, in Cincinnati. So we're yep, right. Cincinnati. Okay, we'll that. I didn't know how little the fucking Bengals invest in their team. You know mm. they don't have an indoor practice facility. Wow, it's cold out there. Yeah. It's quiet uptown. Matt, what's the word? Uh, I'm going to go with the Bengals. Nice. All right. Next game we Did got. You pick? Yeah, I picked I picked the Browns. Oh. Yeah. So we have the Chargers at the Eagles. And give me um Herbert. Yeah, let's talk about bounce back game. Give me the Chargers. Yep. Chargers. Now the Eagles are going to win. Yep, now the Eagles are going to win because they're all picking the Chargers. Matt, what's the word? Give me the D battery hurlers. <laughs> the Eagles. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> you never saw those videos, bro? Oh, oh. When you said it, I thought you were trying to do like a Chargers thing. Oh, no. I right. was going to understand. This is going to be a good one. I think it's going to be a high scoring game. But then again, every time I say this, it's the under always hits. It's going to be the Titans at the Rams. I don't think it's going to be a high scoring game. I think the Rams are going to score. I don't think the Titans are. I mean, by definition, that would be a high scoring game still. If they, (laughs) you know. (laughs) I think the Titans. Titans. Especially now without Derrick Henry. Yeah. I don't know if if, uh, Julio. It really depends on if Julio plays for me because. He's not that guy. He's not that guy, pal. Let's see. Without Derrick Henry, not that guy. Hmm. Um, If I was a betting man, which I am, I would take the Rams. Best believe I'm taking the Rams. Yeah, Rams for sure. Justin? Yeah, give me them Rams. All right, and then this is the one game that we don't have to ask John what he thinks about it <laughs> yes, because, sir. you know, Ravens every week. And oh, yeah, Seven Nation yes. Army button here. Yes. <laughs> um, so the Vikings are at the bank. So being that they're at the Damn. bank. Oh, he just stepped on RJ's chest? What the fuck? Okay, yeah. Um, Vikings oh, at Vi- Vikings are at the bank, so I'm going to take the Ravens at the bank. Yeah, give me the uh, Ravens. Right. The Maga Jackson, like baby. What's up with you from Uptown? I'm going to hop on the bandwagon. Ravens. Wonderful. All right. Like, damn, and man, honestly, you pull your foot up? the standings probably won't change much next week because we picked a lot of the same teams. So, because we did... Find out what happens. <laughs> Tune in. Hopefully, there's a better games to pick for Week Ten. You know, it is what it is. All right. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, we are done with sports, and it is time for the anime book clubs. Anime titties, anime titties. Big round things, won't you put them in my face with them anime titties, anime titties. Watching them swing, really brighten up my day with them anime titties, anime titties. Don't know what to say, I just want to see them shake with them anime titties, anime titties. They defying physics, you know that I love You know I'm getting those bleeds every day. She says she want to put them double D's in my face. I said it ain't a problem. Guys, we started a new series this week, the Netflix anime Great Pretender. And we watched episodes one through three for this week. And um, I'm fucking with it. I am fucking with it a lot. Um, I have to pull my notes up. One thing I will say is I'm really enjoying this art style and uh, just the whole color scheme in general. It's different from most animes. It's almost like kind of reminds me of not kids books, but like kind of like kids books, <laughs> like just in how it's colored. Um, and even though it kind of seems like a kind of generic plot line I like it and I'm kind of invested it's pretty creative honestly because I think everybody from New York needs to watch this anime (laughs) I think I really I I, I genuinely and truly do because if you like 
Y'all niggas think y'all good at this. Y'all think scammer, <laughs> love robbery and fraud. Y'all, y'all think y'all good at the scamming shit? Nah, y'all need to fuck. With, yeah, y'all need to fuck with some Brooklyn of these. Brooklyn need niggas. to watch this. Yeah, bro. And, and the Nigerians, <laughs> the Brooklyn and the Nigerians. Yeah, because those e- those emails saying that yeah, I'm a I'm a distant family member that needs some help is not working no more. Yeah, so, I mean, episode one, we start off with homie Danger from the Hollywood sign, and we're like, what the fuck is going on? Yep. And then offer it. I feel like most of us probably got the con man shit immediately. Mm-hmm. But that water filter shit was smart though. Yeah, that was that was pretty smart. What I'm not gonna lie with, I thought my uh, Netflix was wor- was wasn't bro- was wasn't working because I'm like, all right, click the dub. I was like, yo, why are niggas still speaking yeah. in a foreign language? Yeah, bro, I was <laughs> I was in. Yeah. Um, they speak in Haitian. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one more time, Matt. The first time was funny. Kyrie said it up. Oh, my man. brother. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I was like doing the sub, and then in the scene where they were in the car, yes, where they like switch. I was like, I can't. I was like, what is the dub like? And then f- in that scene, I was like, all right, let me need. Like, I need to look this up. Yeah. Where I was like, this next part will be in English when that shit pops up. I, oh, like, a, I need to actually look it up. Yeah, that's so, there. That, that was funny. Um, yeah. Hold on, give me one second, because Jake is calling me, and if Jake's calling me, calling me. Like uh, that's that's odd. Hello. Yo, buddy. Hey, is everything all right? Yeah, I I was just going on a walk and I was like, oh, I haven't talked to John in a little bit. Do you oh, not, Jake? Okay. Jake, do you not know what John? This is Miles, by the way. Do you not know what John does on Wednesday nights? <laughs> Yo, you think I don't fucking know what Miles' voice sounds like? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we're we're recording right now. We actually, you're good. no, 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 you're not good, Jake. You know why? Because John was like, Jake is calling. We got to stop the podcast. See what I'm saying? So, yeah. Look, yeah, normally you text me before you call. So, look, I, look I, at, just, I thought something was wrong. Look at this. You just, John, John really must love you. I don't think he stopped <laughs> the podcast for me, though, if I call him make podcast. You see this guy? <laughs> one thing you're not going to do is call. Yeah, one thing I'm um, not going to do. Damn right. <laughs> it might be the time difference, but I'll talk to you when I get yeah. out. <laughs> All right, bye. My son, my son, West Coast now. Shit, fucking yeah, him up. Yeah, nah, definitely. Wait, where in the West Coast is he? He's on um, by San Diego. Oh, so in the other part of California. The upper part? I thought that's lower. This is that Southern California. No, is it? No, he's not by San Diego. Sorry. Um, San Francisco? No, he's near the. He's not too far. From, maybe. Ask him what where he lives because I'm going out there. I'm gonna be out there. I next think week. it's um, I want to say it's the upper part because I know he's like. It's not super far from Oregon and shit. Oh, yeah, so then this might be all the way up um, there. Yeah, because I'm going to be in San Francisco next week, so I'm going to hit him up. If he's out there, I can link around. Ah, all right. Mm-hmm. Break time um, over. You said you're going to be in San Francisco? Might not be that far. I'm not going to hold you. Yeah, so. He's, um, they're by Berkeley. Okay. So Our I think you said it's like a 30-ish minute drive, maybe? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, maybe I'll figure it out. I don't right. want him out there. Anyways, you yeah. were saying JT about you tripping the fuck out about Shibian. Yeah, I was kind of confused. But then it kind of all worked itself out, so I was happy. But it's funny how like his English voice once they did that whole little like sign, his English voice changed to like just a regular English. Yeah, it yeah. wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't enough. like it wasn't like English with an accent, which is what I thought they were going to be doing this the entire time. It yeah, was nah. just straight up. It, went, it <laughs> went from sub English to dub English. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The In- note that I had as well it was like, this is the first time. Well, one that Laurent doesn't sound like a Japanese person pretending to be someone else mm-hmm. while I was still in the sub. Yeah. And that this, I was like, this is actually a person speaking English yeah. and not a Japanese person speaking English, and then passing it off as them being an English character. Not gonna lie, the whole part, that whole shit fucked me up. He said French to yeah, me, he honestly. Did, he did yeah. sound French. No, well, I mean, but his name was, is Laurent. Yeah, but he was right? speaking French, I believe. Yeah. I believe he was speaking French because you remember he said, um, blah, 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 blah. Did he say, like, when he was saying bye, he said au revoir. Yeah. Yeah, he said au revoir, yeah. I feel like he was leaning into the whole, like, I am I am French type shit, you know what I mean? Um, Yeah, and the first thing I'm getting was, I was like, is this going to be, like, that movie with Will Smith and Margot Robbie? Mm-hmm. Where they're like, I forgot what it's called, but they're, like, full-on con men. And he, yeah, like, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. That's what I was getting. And I was like, his French accent is good. Um, and I'm like, all right, offer it. He has a mentor. Him being the top Japanese scammer is hilarious <laughs> in general. And then also, why was man so, like sexually rubbing the shift knob in the car? Yeah, that was weird. I was like, what? I mean, I like, like, I don't, don't, you, don't, don't be, I, you don't be doing that sometimes? Just, well, I mean, you got to you, you ask John because John is the one that has a clutch. You know what I'm saying? We just, nah, I don't be rubbing my shift knob like that. 
Yeah. Are you sure? Not even just like not even knowing. Sometimes you just it's just your hand is just there. Just, and you're just so you caressing just, so the you shift just, knob. You just like like uh you know, was it you know, what was fucking like, TikTok sound where it's like <clears throat> he was like you like Frank Ocean. Yeah, what are you trying to fuck me? Like, <laughs> I was like, is is that is is that what was going on in wow. the fucking car? Wow, like man's basically just was like, you going to America? Fuck it, I guess I'll come too. Basically, um, and him calling him edamame is hilarious. Edamame instead of his actual <laughs> edamame is nuts. Like, what's That's racist deep. and also, but not racist, but also is racist at yeah. the same time. Yeah, what's racist? What feels racist and is racist? Yes. Um, that and then now we get the first scene where they're talking about. The movie director, drug dealer, homie, yep. and he pulls up to the party, and sis was off a of bean. Yeah, Abigail, yeah. yeah, Abigail was going crazy. Yeah, yeah she was the true. only she was the only person of color there too, which is crazy. She reminds yeah. me of oh, I, I freaking wrote it down. She looked like a homie from Berserk a little bit. She was reminding Casca. me, Casca, Casca, yeah, a little black. Casca, see it. yeah, because you know what it is because they're black anime characters with short hair, and it's like the same type of short hair too, not like you know Bob style, but like you know yeah. black auntie style. So I was like, yeah, that was I was Casca nah, thicker though, so it's okay. The style that was yeah. the. I cut my hair and I got thicker style. Oh yeah, that's what that was. Well, then what happened to her? Because she might she might always have short hair. She didn't cut it. It was just oh, always okay. short. So to know? say, Casca was a little thick too. Yeah, like, she was. Abigail um, was on the skinny skin, the skinny wave. <laughs> like you looking like Zendaya to the shits, but it it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, they at the uh, the, the kingpin uh, was filmmaking that, that white. Mm-hmm. Bruh, yeah, that that yay. <laughs> and yeah, that's not shit. the yayo. He said, "Yo, you want this shit?" It's like, nah, this shit's gonna kill you, bro. That, mm-hmm. You gotta get, you gotta get this shit instead. <laughs> this shit right here, nigga. This shit right here, nigga. This that death, death. <laughs> death. <laughs> and then man's went rogue. Yeah, like bugged out, tried to escape, and the Abby pull up and clap his shit. Mm-hmm. Hit him with that fucking karate kid. And then at this point, I'm like, is Laron actually the main character? <laughs> and then we get in episode two. Yes, I, oh, yeah. I, I was fucking with this shit, honestly. Like, I like because <laughs> it's just like yo, some real like real life scam shit, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Listen, f- we worked at the mall. We all know some scammers. Oh yeah, I know a few of them hoes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, episode two, like we definitely get a little more um, background, a little more world building here. Yes, and they, I like how they did it too because they didn't really like. Oh, we're just gonna you know you. <laughs> Going into a fucking You're probably uh, wondering how I got here. Yeah, nah, this just started the episode and just like, oh wow, like this nigga actually, you know, his mom's was sick, like all of that other shit. Yeah, you know? such a sad story. Yeah, you know. And then uh Then you just get a little bit of inkling about his dad, but you never you don't know actually you don't find out what he yeah. actually did. Just you know just he was a criminal. No, he's a criminal. He a bad guy. Yeah. Um and then now we understand why he likes coin machines because the shit he got his mom's and all that. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, now he's stuck in the shadow. Like, yo, he really went to jail for some shit he didn't do, bro. Yeah, that's tough. He was over here doing time, and it's like, damn. And this is like prison Eric. system failing him, yeah. failing someone else. And it's kind of it's kind of od, I think, because <laughs> like this man really tried to get his life together. And of course, you know, the, once you when, once you're a convicted felon, you know that shit is. Uh, oh shit! What the charge? Fuck? Yeah. Oh, cool. Um, once you're a convicted felon. You know, that shit is hard hard as fuck to get a job. Mm-hmm. Shit, it's hard enough in America. I can only imagine what it's like in other fucking countries. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, they treated him like he was black. That shit was crazy. Well, yeah, they treated crazy. him like a fucking convict. At that point, If you, you might as well be black. This shit's <laughs> tough, bro. But, uh, but yeah. yeah, so he basically just leaned in. He was like, hey, if they're going to call me a scammer, yeah. I might as well just scam. Yeah, like, 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 yeah. I'm going to be your fucking greatest. Yep. You're the bestest. That's his anti hero origin I wanna story. Be yeah. The very best. Big facts. <laughs> I'm so we can get a picture. But anyway. To um, scam them is my real test. <laughs> to frame them is my call. Hey. Uh, nah, okay. I will travel across Japan. Hey. Searching <laughs> far and wide. <laughs> Scamming niggas <laughs> to understand the money that's inside. Hey. <laughs> Out of my main. <laughs> I was gonna oh. say Pokemon. <laughs> Pokemon. Po- Pokemon is nothing. <laughs> um, Give me that. Also, the shit was jokes when um, there was Eden, and then he was like, "Yeah, why don't you? Why don't we use the other Asian guy who's a con man?" It was like he was clearly Taiwanese, and he was like, oh, "Whatever, they all look alike anyway." <laughs> yeah, was like, Ab- Ab- Abigail was like, "Damn, damn, Abigail, you wild for that." Yeah, Abigail was on some shit. But, uh, but yeah, Abigail's no. tough though yeah, she she, Yo she about that action bro mm-hmm. And then now we get into Homie Laurent was clearly looking for a protege um, And then it's like I Also before this I never Put together that Con man stood for confidence man Yeah that's what he said the top confidence man in Japan I was kind of confused Never thought about that shit 
Always understood the term con man. Mm -hmm. Very familiar with it. Never put together confidence. Yeah, but confidence it makes sense. Is... It makes total sense. It does. Yeah, that's all they do is they just say things really confidently and then people believe them. Yep, that's a uh, fact. But nah, like you'd be learning it, like bro, the con at the restaurant, mm -hmm. genius. That was great. Yeah, that shit. That, sh that shit was jokes. He said, "Yo, my man." He's like, yo, my boy over there, he got it. And then he was like, hey, yo, my man, thank you again. <laughs> he was like, sorry, yo, listen, I'm sorry if it's going to be a lot. Hey, don't worry about it. All right, bet. Say less. Yeah. Um, but then, of course, Laurent was like, yeah, I already knew you was, I already knew you tried to do that scam. That's why I paid ahead. I <laughs> knew you before you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm inside your br I know everything about you. Yep. Um, he really scouted him and set whole thing up. Like, Laurent's a mastermind for real, for real. Yeah, this nigga's like, he's a, uh, fuck, what is his name of that nigga? Oh, fuck, I forgot. Um, you know, Code Lyoko, the fucking uh, Xana, the fucking that's like the mm -hmm. yeah, it's oh, all, yeah, 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 it's like all knowing kind of shit. Yeah, it's like that shit where you have like they have scouts <laughs> at like your middle school game. Like, he's been scouting him since like eighth grade, <laughs> <laughs> already getting varsity, already getting letters of uh, commitment and shit. Mm -hmm. it's like, damn, yeah. And then again, we got um, he it seems like he's just gonna give up on this shit and walk out. And Abby yokes him up and mm -hmm. presses him pretty much and was like, pussy, and calls him a virgin. And one thing an anime character gonna do. It's it's get not tight yep. when someone calls him a virgin when they a virgin. Yeah, that's a fact. Even if it's the truth. Yeah, because they're gonna get real tight about it. Yeah, that nigga was tight. He's like, oh yeah, I'm not a fucking virgin. They're gonna lie about not being yeah. a virgin. And then he fucking stormed out that bitch. Yeah, and then we find out man's man's really do got some skills. Like yeah. he he could he yeah, not broker just that deal time. by himself. Got the price doubled from five mil. First of all, <laughs> these niggas out here selling Japanese candy, po you know, <laughs> posing it off as uh, actual drugs. This is basically like a drug dealer in a white neighborhood. Yep. Basically, yeah, he fucking flipped that thing. But uh, as it turns out, later on, he uh, needed some help. Yeah, now we're getting to episode three. Um, I like how they reiterate the whole, like, we're not a team, we're independent. We just know that we work together type shit. Mm -hmm. Also, the, the whole thing of being like a Steven Seagal, like, joke, the movies. Mm -hmm. Like, and then them calling them the Raspberry series when it's like the Razzies are like the worst movies award and shit like that. Mm -hmm. um, but straight long game. How fucking Laurent had everything else set up as well. I thought the, the like, long game. Talk of, about a mastermind, my boy. The long game of him having Abigail as his inside yeah. man. Like Laurent is, Laurent yeah. is like that, bro. He's really yeah. like that. But you know what though? When money's involved, it's not. It's not hard to get niggas on board. It's a lot of yeah. a lot of niggas to sell themselves out for the money, as you even can see with the fucking police commissioner. That nigga was. Oh like, yeah, that was that was a plot twist. Eric I wasn't Adams? expecting. <laughs> oh, that's wild. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, bro. No but yeah, I wasn't expecting that one either. The way, I like how they introduced it, where they yeah. brought it up very stereotypically, like the normal detective type shit. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's like, yo, like, Laurent really different. Them having the LAPD as jokes, and then them escaping <laughs> and doing a car chase and a Prius and a Malibu. Yeah, like, basically. what? I, was like, I kind of liked how they have, like, actual real car designs yeah. in it. Because it was... There. Dude, this art style is dope, man. Everything about it. I yeah, feel it's like, heavy. Because one of the cars was a... Was a, a the, that's not as uh, Cadillac. Yeah. The, CPS. Forget, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. I really nah. like the Braves. No funny um, shit. Also, who the fuck did this soundtrack? Right? It yeah. sounds like they picked a randomest SoundCloud rapper and went, listen, we got an anime. All right? Right. We're going to do this. <laughs> right. It's very, like, urban. Not, I don't know. Urban might be the wrong word, but it's like... You're like, a, listen, it's in L.A. right now. Yeah. But you know what, though? This is a Netflix-created series. That's why it's like, all right, you know what? This feels... This, that's why it feels different. That's why it's yep. like, all right, you know, like, you got the fucking... Even, like, the NZ out. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, yeah. It, it, I'm not gonna lie. It feels like well, that's that's like the normal anime type shit, you know. Yeah, I mean? that's yeah, that's like um, a normal anime shit. But it's like the design. It feels like Logic is writing the raps, but they went, let's get a full black person to do it. And it's funny because the raps um, actually kind of. I don't know. They if go with they go with the um. I paid attention to the second time. They okay, go with yeah. what's going on yeah. in the scene. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Just like they pick someone, and they're like, "Listen, you're gonna write about this anime that we're doing." And it's like, it's about right, scamming niggas. You know all about that, don't you, Daquan? No. <laughs> <laughs> like that's all you gotta do. You tired of making SoundCloud raps in your mom's basement? <laughs> they come make SoundCloud raps for us in yeah, Netflix's basement. basement. <laughs> gonna be like, we gonna be <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Oh that's God. it, and then after we find out the cops is it, the real the real cops, the real cops the comes. Uh, agent, was it Agent Scully or whatever? Yeah, nah, it's different. We'll, we'll, we'll find out later. <laughs> yeah. But like she later. pulled up, she was like, she "Yeah, so fake uh, Karen from Naruto." They was like, "Which yeah. one?" 
She was like the one who booked these so motherfuckers. That's, 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 these that's a motherfuckers. good comparison. I like yeah, that. Yeah, that's what she looked like. Dude. like She's yeah. a redhead with the glasses. I mean, yeah. not that everybody that's redheaded and has glasses looks like, even though you do. Karim. Don't look like. But yeah, Karim, yeah. At least she's, she's not like. a simp, though. So that's, yeah, that's she's, good. She ain't no simp. Yeah, she she's, yeah, yeah, she's not. thirsting over niggas. Yeah, that's uh, a fact. That was bad. Karim was down bad. Yeah, she was. Yeah. She was in a toxic relationship. She was getting, yeah. Yeah. And then we also, like, we find out that the motherfuckers really looking for LeBron. Yeah. Yep. Like, yo, LeBron is a, like, big player, bro. He, he, yeah. She was like, yeah, we don't even really care about the producer for real, for real. We, yeah. we, he's just another drug dealer. We want that nigga. Yeah. He was like, you can take credit for that. Like, fuck him. <laughs> like, I'll put your name on the shit. I'll sign the paper, everything. I don't even care about him. Yeah. I want yeah. that nigga right that there. That nigga right there. That's and it's crazy how she knew he was getting, uh, she was like, yeah, it's kind of weird how you can uh, afford your, do- your daughter's scholarship or uh, her tuition and uh, that really nice vacation home you got. Boy, how do you make that on your salary? The like, feds oh. be knowing everything, bro. Yeah, even the bro. shit that you don't think, even when I be clocked in three jobs at one time, they know that shit. <laughs> <laughs> they be saying it just haven't gotten caught Do I have yet. to delete that? <laughs> <laughs> um, but like with that, like this entire time, man's at Amora getting caught up out here, boy. You know, real caught up. Yeah. Every like a new layer is adding. I also now, just think yeah. the whole relationship that's been fostered. They, they basically with the drug dealer homie, like that whole shit has been phenomenal. Yeah, that shit. Is, and even mm. though they've been like a step ahead, he just adds another layer, mm-hmm. adds another. It's layer. Like they gained his trust, but gained too much of yeah. his trust. Yeah. <laughs> it's that's like ah. Effect. That's a fact. I think I think another funny thing is that homie actually loves the movies. Yeah, he really does. Like he was going hard for that. This nigga yeah. D Rose has like four blocks this game. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga's going Shit broke the stream Yeah definitely did uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> But my son Ed is like Going through it Pulling some Heisenberg type shit That's what I was gonna say He's definitely like This is giving a lot of Breaking Bad vibes Yeah with, with, He's just not uh, He doesn't actually know How to make drugs That's Yeah the issue. exactly I mean my thought would just be Like alright they'll just figure out They'll just find out What the candy or whatever Is made of And just kind of Try and recreate that yeah. But now the fact but that They are like yeah 24, 24 hour surveillance son Yeah He on gridlock you heard it was like, like yeah, yeah, this is, this we is want you to cook it in front of us, man. I, I'm curious again. as to what it's gonna be. Like, how does how does one even get out of this at this point? Do you just wait to get caught? Yeah, it's like you know when it yeah. comes. Yeah, <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, that's why they're the scam artists, you know, right? Yeah, and Laurent Everything doesn't seem phased by anything because yeah. he just seems cool. So he must yeah, have number a number one confidence, plan. man. That's a fact. Yep. That's it. He he stay ready. He got a plan, so, so you don't gotta get ready. And that's the thing. And he jokes about it too, where he's like, "Well, I guess we'll just get ready to run." Like, man, ain't laid this whole shit out. Yep, which is crazy. Nah, them them getting them back in Japan to do the whole shit and make it seem like he worked there. Yeah, that tough. was tough. I, you know, and that's why I said Laurent is always a step ahead. Like he just he just does that thing. He knows what the fuck is going on. He he's a nigga that always understands the assignment. Yep, contingencies on contingencies on contingencies. About, man's just activating trap cards left and right. Yes, that's exactly what that man is doing. <sighs> but that's all I got. I'm very excited to see episode four to see like how they figure out getting out of cooking in front of the big boss yes so, i am here yeah i'm it. very engaged like i'm i'm all in yeah like i'm very engaged in this like this is good yeah. i like it a lot mm-hmm. we got a lot of episodes because it's two seasons yeah it's a it's two seasons but i think it equals up one regular show season does it really i thought it was 24 episodes in total yeah yeah that's one normal season for oh the show. sorry my yeah. fault. i mean you know you know I'm we have, we've done a lot of short ones exactly yeah. that's 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 where my head is at on that that's all good um, and we got anything else? Last things in the notes? Um, no, nah, that's that's about all I got. Yeah, that's about um, it. yeah, usually the first ones are pretty short too. Whenever we first start a show, because yeah. it's a lot of world building and shit like that. Yes. Um, I'm enjoying all the characters. Fuck the heavy. Excited to see where it goes. Because Abby, Abby's a fun character too. Yeah, she's like um, the perfect like uh, antagonist. Not antagonist, like um, foil. Foil. Yes. Thanks. Got gotcha. you. Damn, my guy. So, if you guys are following along with this. Watch the next three episodes, so four, five, and six for next week. And that's it for us for episode 114 of the Saratobi Sports Pod. Make sure to follow us at Saratobi Sports on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Go like the Facebook page, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, tell a friend to tell a friend. And you guys can follow me on Twitter at Offended Narwhal. Guys? You already know. Uh, shout out to Braves, man. Fucking uh, mm-hmm. winning the fucking World Series. Yeah, fuck been, Astros. Been fuck Boston. And it's been fuck Houston. You know, fuck Altuve, Correa, you know, Cora. All them niggas, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, Bregman. man. Yeah, Bregman. Oh, shit. Not Alvarez. I fuck like I, I like Jordan Alvarez. Fuck him. But um, yeah, you know, 
Black Lives Matter, all of that good shit. Um, yeah, stay safe out here, and you know, um, yeah. Stay thirsty, my friends. Nematodes are people, too. I just don't understand. <laughs> like, this man started doing more work and started plugging his work less. <laughs> Catch y'all next week. I got ice in my veins. Walk like a champion, champion, champion. I'm so cold blooded. I fear nobody. Ain't no letting down. I won't let you down. Cause I got ice in my veins.